Why, hello, Peter. I barely recognized you. I've brought someone to meet you. This is my new friend, Wendy. So, Captain, since it's your birthday today, the other crewmates and I have written a short birthday song for you. Captain Hook, you're sweet and snuggly, except your face, which is downright ugly. Hey! Peter Pan was very sad about Wendy's decision. It will be a pleasure since Wendy's leaving. Peter stayed back with a big frown on his face. However, as they went outside of the hideout, a terrible surprise was waiting for them. There were pirates. Ah, I see you've fallen into my little trap, said Hook with a vile smile on his face. The pirates tied the lost boys and the darling children with ropes so that they don't move. Well, isn't this a birthday treat? Men, take those scallywags to the deck of the Jolly Roger. Let us go, yelled Wendy. But we had a deal, said Tinkerbell angrily. You promised not to harm any of the lost boys. Oh yes, but you see, little fairy, Captain Hook doesn't do deals, let alone stick to them, said Captain Hook. The lost boys tried to escape the ropes, but it was no use. The ropes were too tight to escape from. And so Captain Hook's pirates led the darling children and lost boys to the Jolly Roger. Back at the Jolly Roger, all the lost boys were tied up. They could not move or escape. My plan is going perfect, said Captain Hook. Now, Smee, you keep those scallywags tied up while I'll go and sharpen my sword. You know, to get ready for the fight I'll have with Peter. Yes, Captain, replied Smee. When Captain Hook and all the other pirates were gone, Mr. Smee went over to the tied up lost boys. Listen, Captain Hook has gone too far this time, said Smee. We've got to warn Peter Pan. The lost boys and darling children looked confused. What do you mean? asked Tinkerbell. Hook isn't only going to capture Peter Pan, he's also going to make Neverland all to himself. Wait, what? Oh no, said Tootles. That's terrible, cried Slightly. We need to do something about this, said Wendy. Yes. Which is why, Tinkerbell, you must fly back to the hideout and warn Peter before it's too late, said Smee, as he started untying Tinkerbell from the ropes. Thank you, Smee. I'll quickly go and warn him. Wish me luck, everyone, replied Tinkerbell as she started flying back to the hideout. Because of the help of Smee, Tinkerbell's now going to warn Peter Pan that all the lost boys and darling children are tied up. And hopefully, Peter Pan will have a way to rescue them. Tinkerbell flew as fast as she could towards the hideout. Peter! Peter! said Tinkerbell as she entered the lost boys' hideout. Peter Pan was surprised to see Tink here. Tinkerbell, but what are you doing here? Said Peter Pan, confused. And so Tinkerbell told Peter about what had happened. She told him how they were captured and Captain Hook's evil plan. She even told him that she was the one who led the pirates to the hideout in the first place. Oh, this is all my fault, Peter, said Tinkerbell. Don't worry, Tink. We need to quickly go to the Jolly Roger and save everyone," said Peter as he took out his wooden dagger. Come on, Tink. Let's go before it's too late. And so Peter Pan and Tinkerbell geared up, Peter with his dagger and Tink with her pixie dust, and they both went outside and flew away from the hideout. Welcome aboard the Jolly Roger, Scallywags, said Captain Hook 
talking to the darling children and lost boys who are still tied up. Since I'll have Neverland all to myself soon after I get rid of Peter Pan, I might as well have a few extra pirates to help me clean my ship. Which is why, from now on, you all will be washing and scrubbing the decks, cleaning the dishes, and, best of all, pulling the yucky old tears out of the plug hole. Never! We're never going to join your crewmates! said Wendy angrily. You just wait till Peter Pan gets here, said Nibs. Well, so be it then. Unless you agree to become part of the Jolly Rogers crew, we'll make you all walk the plank. Bring out the plank, crewmates, said Captain Hook. And with that, the pirates brought out a long wooden plank. Hook was going to make the Lost Boys and Darling Children walk the plank. The Lost Boys felt hopeless. This was the end of their adventures in Neverland. They were about to walk the plank and Peter Pan was still not there to save them. Don't worry everyone, we must still have hope that Peter Pan and Tinkerbell will rescue us, said Wendy. Come on now, one by one you shall walk the plank and jump into the ocean, said Captain Hook, smiling. But before Captain Hook had time to make them walk the plank, everyone heard a ticking sound coming from somewhere. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock.